What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. I got another vlog for you guys. You liked the last one so much, I'm really enjoying making this style of video. And I have a lot of work to do, so I'm just gonna bring you guys along for the ride. We have a lot to do today, so let's just get right into it. Alright, so it's already been a pretty busy morning. I got the printers running first thing this morning. I've drawn a little bit, done a little uh, computer work. I've already built a barbell. And now it's time for us to actually get to work down here in the print shop. So today I've got a few things to do packaging wise, shipping wise, just to make sure that I get everything sent out that needs to go out today. I don't have a ton of orders right now, which is really good actually, because there's a lot of things in here and in the actual printer room that I need to take care of. And I don't really have time to do that kind of stuff when I'm really busy with orders. So things have slowed down a little bit. I'm getting more comfortable with my products, the products that I'm printing and shipping for the creators that I'm working with. So right now we're gonna work on things in here. Um, first on the list of to do's, this wall back here, the one with my like Macy Makes logo, I want to make it look a little bit better. And I had this idea. I got these like black shelf things and I think I want to put them like right here on this wall and I want to display some of the items that I'm selling. Either my nameplates or things I'm selling for other people, just different things that I think would make this wall look a lot better. So in the last video, if you watched that one and right now you can see that my walls are white but if you've been here a while you may have seen that before the walls were this really gross yellow green color and so i spent a couple days painting down here trying to get it looking a little bit better because if this is my new filming space i just would like it to be pretty i guess i'm gonna try and make it a little bit prettier down here the first step is these shelves and i want them to go right there i think Another thing we have to take care of this morning is the rep rack. We're gonna start planning this wall because I've got everything printed. I'll show a little bit of that in a minute, but I've got everything printed. I think that I need to put up on the walls. I still need to go to the store and get the pipe that goes through these or the pipes, multiple pipes um, that goes through here and actually holds the filament. And I don't even have any screws yet. So we're just in the planning stages of that part, but I think that's the plan for today. We're definitely getting that shelf on the wall, if I'm capable, I think I am. Um, we're definitely getting that shelf on the wall and starting to work on the aesthetics in here. And then we're gonna start planning out the rep rack to go on that wall. So we got a lot to do, let's go. First, I need to grab all of these. There's a lot, so it'll take two trips. This. I think that's all I need right now. Okay, so nameplates have to go today. And this one, actually, I'll show you guys. So you can see it's not perfect. And so last time I saw this, or the, the times in the past that I've saw this on my prints, it meant that the extruder needed to be changed. So that may be on the list of things that we have to do today. P1, P2 may need a new extruder. I actually don't know that I have them in stock, so I may need to order some extruders. If I do, then I do, and it's time. I gotta restock a lot of printer maintenance things in there, extruders, um, hot ends, different things like that. I have seven printers now, and things are gonna start to go wrong. I did keep things in stock, and then I used them all, so now it's time to buy them again. So that may be something on the list of things to do today, but this is not something I can sell. I'm reprinting that one, which stinks, but that's okay. So I've got two nameplates, maybe a couple more printing right now that will need to be packaged later. And then I definitely have a barbell set that needs to go out today. So that's what we're working on first thing, but I'm going to get through that pretty quick because you've seen that in the past videos. So here's me working and then in a second we'll move on to the shelves.
All right, shipping is done. I need to print this label and then I'll be done with that part of my day for now. I may have a couple later on, but barbells are done for the day. Let's get into this shelf. All right, this part is kind of intimidating to me. I don't want to mess up my wall. I got the drill. I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to see what it entails. It can't be that hard, right? What? All right, I actually grabbed a few things that I might need. Stud finder, a level, and a tape measure. I feel like all of those things could come in handy for this project. All right, so use a stud finder to find studs in the desired mounting area. Use a level, got it, to ensure the mounting back plate is level. Then mark the holes with a pencil. Easy. So like this is the piece that goes inside and makes this like a shelf kind of. Um, which way is up? This way is up. Okay. Right, right there. So those are the studs that are important. Aren't on my wall. <laughs> All right, so I found the studs, figured some things out. Now I need to make sure that this piece is level, kind of where I wanted this to go. No, this is gonna be very difficult to do one-handed. Oh, okay, that's gotta be good enough. I decided I'm gonna try and use painter's tape to try and hold this thing on the wall while I screw it in because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that one-handed. I know for a fact I can't do that one-handed. So let's see if this will work. Let me climb up here again. I'm just going to finish screwing these in, then we'll start on the top shelf. It's going better than expected. All right, this process again. No, oh, it's too low. I wanted it up here. Perfect. Dang, this is making a mess on my wall. Definitely have to clean that when I'm finished. Okay, so this one we have to drill a hole for because it's not going to be in studs for that one right there. So I'm gonna wait a second. My husband will be home in 15 minutes. I've got the drill bits ready. Uh, I'm gonna see if he will help me get that part done because I have to put these little guys. I don't know if you can see them completely, but those are supposed to go in the drywall when you don't have studs. So hopefully when he gets home, he'll help me. But for now, this is where we're at. All right, so the holes have been drilled up there. Um, now I just need to put these in there, which are for drywall. I think one of them actually was in a stud. Oh, let's see. Yeah, this one actually is in the stud, but none of the others are, so I'll have to screw these in there with a handy dandy screwdriver. Wow, this is intense. I just put a massive hole in my wall. It's better be worth it. I feel like since that's not in drywall, that one maybe should have been drilled, but oh well. All right, now screw this in and then hopefully we are done. All right, the last thing I have to do, and then the shelves will be finished. I need to put the shelves on the brackets and then screw them in from the bottom. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then we will be ready to move on, finally. All right, 
I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Now I just need to clean up and make it look a little prettier. So I think I'm gonna end up putting one of these pots on the edge. I don't know that I'll put a real plant in there. I'm not the best at keeping plants alive. I think that looks kind of nice, maybe a bit small. There's also this giant one, which I think actually maybe looks a little better right there. I don't know. I have a lot of work to do in that area, but at least the shelves are done. Next, hopefully we can get started on the rep rack system. I need to go to the store and get screws and the pipe. But besides that, I think I'm pretty much ready to start that. So let's get right to that. All right, so I don't know if this is the exact setup I'm gonna go with. I just got a few things placed on the shelves for now, but I'll take you over there and show you a closer look. So here's what we have on the shelves at the moment. We have two of the planters and then the nameplate that started it all for me. That's Miss Hicks, that's me. When I was a teacher, I had this on my desk. I printed it for myself that started everything that you see now. Up here on the left, I put one of the mini RX plates. And then over here on the right is a secret project coming very soon. I still have the middle spot up top and all of this may change eventually, but for now, here's the shelves. I would like to work on the rep rack, but I need to go to the store and get screws and a pipe or multiple pipes to connect the whole thing. And my son is asleep right now. You guys know I stay home with him. I only work during his naps for the most part. He's asleep, so I can't just go to the store and get those things. Right now, in the beginning, I told you guys about the printer with the extruder issues. I thought I needed to order more parts, but look at this. I have this box over here that I have labeled extruders and hot ends, and I thought it was empty. I thought I used them all. It's not. I have so many parts in here that I can use, and this one right here, P1 series extruder. So I have an extruder. So now, P1, P2, I'm coming for you. All right, I'll talk through this really fast because I have a full video on this already. Basically, you just take off the cover and disconnect it. And then inside of here, there are some screws that you need to take out, some things you need to unplug. Watch the video I've already posted, but for now, I'm just gonna go through, change this really fast. It should take me about 10 minutes and then we'll be back to the video. So while I was in here, you have to take out this PTFE tube anyways to be able to change the extruder. And you may be able to tell it's having a hard time, it's having a hard time focusing, but you can kind of see towards my ring, the black area, that is a giant hole in my PTFE tube, so it's definitely time to change this thing. The end of it is chewed to bits. Definitely time to change this guy out. So I'm gonna handle that really quick. All right, so I just finished changing the extruder and I wanted to give you a good little look at how dirty it was. You can see the gears and all the black dust that's in there. So this, the extruder, is something I've had to change the most on the printer, besides like PTFE tubes. Um, I've had to change one feeder in one of my AMSs, maybe two, um, but that's in one AMS. So I've changed five extruders and I have to change them about once a year. So that is the one part that I've noticed needs to be replaced the most often. Besides that, I really haven't had any issues out of these printers. The quality has been great. And when the quality is not great, it leads me to my extruder. I changed it in about 10 minutes probably follow some instructions the very first time. I have a great video if you wanna go watch that. But after that, you should be able to change the extruder in like 10 minutes, really easy, and then get right back to work. That is probably gonna be where I wrap up this video. I know I said that I was gonna do the rep rack today, but time-wise, it's not looking like I'm gonna make it. That will be the next video because I wanna keep growing and making this shop or this room down here as cool as it can be. And that is the next thing, the organization. So 
Today we got this shelving up, which took longer than I thought it was gonna take, but I'm new to using a drill, so that was good practice for the rep rack since I'm gonna have to put a lot of different things into the wall and use the drill a lot of different times. So I will get the screws. They're being shipped from Amazon, the plastic ones or whatever I need to connect the plastic pieces. The other ones I'll have to go to Lowe's and get, and along with the pipes. So this video is gonna wrap up here. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry there wasn't a ton of actual 3D printing in this video, but we got the print shop looking a little better. We changed an extruder, we saw some shipping. We did a lot of tasks for this Tuesday, so I'm pretty happy with the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to grow over there as well. That's all, I'll see you guys in the next one.